All right, Brandon and Ryan here with us this morning. <laughs> and Jamie uh, can't wait. Well, first of all, <laughs> You're a teacher at UAH. That's right. right. And you're a scientist where? The contractor with the Army. <laughs> contractor with the Army. Yes, sir. Uh, before we get on the other stuff here. Uh, the real reason they're here? Yeah. What are we here to talk about? What are we here to talk about? I, mean, I don't have a clue. I mean. We're uh, both representing the Society of Technical Communications. It's a profession. The Society, you tell me that again. <laughs> the Society of what? Technical Communications. Technical Communications. Yes, sir. Are you wearing cowboy boots? Yes, sir. Just got married. Yes, sir. And don't watch TV. No, sir. What kind of life can you have? <laughs> He's a newlywed. A happy one. <laughs> All right, put his name up. Let me see. Here's Brandon. Here's his last yeah, name. Okay, put it up here. Let here it goes. There it is. Okay, where is it? <laughs> Brandon Dolphinus? No. Dauphiné. Dauphiné. Oh, I threw that in on me. I think his wife there. goes by Miss D. Goes what? By Miss D. With, a little, with the kids when she teaches. Oh, so you're a wife's school teacher? Yes, sir. Okay, now what do you do at UAH? Our group is smart. I teach uh, technical writing at UAH. Technical writing. Yeah. Is that interesting? <laughs> I mean, Extremely you're interesting. You're stunned. Yes. It's now, riveting. when you say technical writing, <laughs> what do you... Things like uh, writing help manuals. It's what Brandon does for a living. Mm -hmm. um, Writing help manuals, um, all right. Writing, right. editing. Oh, right. boy. Editing <laughs> okay. There's no telling right. what. Oh, oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> technical writers, okay. Technical writer. Huh? All right, technical Give me writer. something technical to write. Yeah. Give me something. Okay, boys. Uh, prescription instructions for medicine. For medicine? <laughs> yeah, how to take medicine. You know, like those very stupid things that someone has tried and they have to put it on the label Take now? one pill. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, how hard could that be? Huh? A. Take one pill and die. Done. A. Digest internal. Congratulations, you're now a tech writer. Now, <laughs> you're part of the, you're an honorary member of the society. Is there, more, is there more to it than that? Now, all the little fine print on the back of a bottle that nobody reads, you write that? I don't, but that is one type of job. That involves tech writing. People in our group might write that. Yes. How many people are in y'all's group? Hmm. Uh, the local chapter we're part of has about 20 members. Uh, globally, we have 7,000 members in over 40 countries. You mean there's actually a group of people that get together to discuss <laughs> how to write stuff like that? Indeed. Let's see Indeed. if there's something stupid. Now, do you write for Doritos bag too? I mean, could you, it could be anything. How do you come up with this information? Do, are, you, are you provided with bullet points? No, uh, sometimes. There. I mean, so a lot of times you, your job is to interview, say, the people that make the Doritos mm -hmm. and turn their comments into the writing that goes on the back of the bag. For instance, huh. describing the chemical composition so, of their cheesy dust. That that's involved. what y'all do. I, I, well, I, I tell the kids, I translate geek speak. So all those smart scientists and all that that say words that most people can't understand, we take what they'd say and make it so normal people can understand it. Like you can understand it. <laughs> but y'all, where do y'all have these meetings? Y'all meet at a bar or something to numb yourself? We do. We, we, we actually we do. At Monaco. At the yeah, scene. we're meeting tonight if you want to join us. So y'all meet what, once a month, once a week? Yeah, once a month. Yeah, third, uh, third Tuesday of every month at 5.30 at the Monaco. We meet okay. upstairs in the scene lounge. What do you discuss? I mean, who, uh, what do you do? I mean, I'm curious. We talk a lot about job opportunities mm -hmm. for people, the job market, for people who are interested in getting into technical writing. Um, so that's one of the reasons we exist, to help people right. find jobs. Networking. And network. Yeah. Right. Uh, there's also a salary database that we provide so people can uh, have that information when they go in to negotiate for a job so they can get a better salary. What's it pay? It, <laughs> I mean, good. Yeah, it actually uh, we just ran a survey. I haven't looked at the numbers yet, but, um, you know, 60 to 80 for a lot of the people that answered our survey. Well, right. Hey. Yeah. For writing technical stuff. Yes, sir. For now, writing the back of the Doritos now, bag. Would, is that something you guys would do on the side? No, that's my full-time job. That's his job. Oh, that's your full-time yeah. job. Mm -hmm. So you're a brainiac. Oh, I don't know about so, that. So well, tell me what you're doing. You go to work, mm -hmm. and they give you, here, you're going to write this thing about... Uh, Viagra? <laughs> That's what you come up with? <laughs> well, I'm just, uh, well, it could be anything from a software that you have to use. I work with the Army, and there's a lot of software these soldiers have to use. 
And so I have to write instructions or maybe make a little tutorial videos to show them how to use the software because when they're in the field, they don't have time to figure all this yeah. stuff out. So we have to make it super simple. You gotta work with the people that use the product, whether it be a camera, a computer, a helicopter. Um, there's instructions on how to So use basically you're just right, if we need somebody how to operate a, a, a handbook or a camera or something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to translate what I tell you on how to do it, exactly. but you're going to get all technical about it. Well, no, actually, you make it simple so the person using it can understand. This show can't get much simpler. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the goal is to, to take what's complex and make it easier to understand. You uh, wouldn't have to translate anything he said. It would be very <laughs> easy to write. Now, it sounds kind of boring. Still confused. <laughs> it can be, but then it'll be very exciting and rewarding. Um, now, how can it be exciting? Explain that part. To well, you know, I'm kind of missing the boat on this. It can, it can vary by um, the company you're working for. Uh, working with the Army can be very rewarding because those soldiers on the field have a lot they have to go through. And the last thing they need to do is have to spend hours figuring out how to use a complex machine. So that can be very rewarding. So. I've got a dehumidifier that I bought at Lowe's at our house. It's down in our safe room. Has him I can't figure out how to program it to get it to where to come on and off without staying on all the time. So somebody in your group probably wrote that. Maybe, or maybe not. If you did understand it. <laughs> they should have joined our group. If they had joined our group, it would have been easier to understand. That's what it means. If they had joined our group, you could work your dehumidifier. Now, when y'all are out, do y'all, uh, either one of you, are you out looking at everything, uh, the instructions on the back? Admittedly, I do. Critique. That happens, yeah, it's hard to stop. Is there a though. funny thing that you can remember that was like, I cannot believe we had to write this, some idiot did it? Is there anything that comes to mind? I know I'm putting you on the spot. Um, instructions for computers. Okay. Um, someone had pushed the button for the CD tray and she thought it was a coaster. <laughs> she did, huh? So do not put cups <laughs> on the CD tray. <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I remember there was um, a, like a kid's cape for a Batman costume, and it had to say that it would not let you fly. You couldn't <laughs> put the cape on and jump off of your roof and fly. Okay. So, yeah, that That's kind of like a hemorrhoid hurts. medicine, and it don't take orally. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just can't believe there's a group of y'all to get together and discuss this kind of well, stuff. Look what you've been missing all this time. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> yes, I have certainly been missing. You've all been right. sheltered. You don't own a TV. Or you do own, I do a, you own one TV. Yes. One TV in your whole house. One TV and three computers. Uh huh. You don't have a clue about anything going on in the world. I do. I, I watch on the internet. So. Well, say, why would you think that? Never done a live TV show before, either one of them. Never. Didn't no. know who I was. No, sir. Don't no. care who I am. Well, I do not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. You're inviting me to your group. All okay, right. Okay, so me being elevated to the top guy in that group. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. After, after what we saw over here. <laughs> Take one pill a day. I mean, that's yeah. how simple there can you it go. get? You're a pro. Natural communication. You write uh, commercials all the time. Um, that's right. So y'all sit around and just... Come, Come up with is, is it, and there's a lot of openings for this kind of stuff? Um, there is actually. And, and it's not just technical writing, it could be web design, um, technical instructors, okay. trainers. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a broad web de, um, like usability. What they do is they go in and like, is this um, website easy to understand? And so there's a lot, of, it's a very wide field okay. and you can have different positions. I'm you're, a program analyst, that's my official you're title. You ever thought about getting in TV? I thought about it, but I don't know if I'm as charismatic as you are. So. Oh, very few, quick. Very few people in America are. <laughs> quick. They get that ready. Now, they do get together, and the ages vary, so it is not just for young people. Well, so Frank might be able to get in? Of course. Frank yeah. could get I in. I mean, he still writes with a st stone tablet. I mean, uh, chisel. Chisel. Right. Yeah. We have an opening for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, again, you guys meet when and where and how do people at, that how can thousands of y'all are wanting to get in on this deal. Corey, you a part-time job for y'all. How do people do that? How do they get involved in? Uh, we meet at the Monaco uh, the third Thursday, or third, third Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. of every month. Um, yeah. We're meeting tonight at 5.30. Okay. And then we have some things coming up. We have a Photoshop workshop coming up on March 3rd that people can be involved with. We have a conference coming up on April 21st okay. over on the UA Huntsville campus. Um, and our website is stc na.org. Right. Anything else I need to know about technical writing? <laughs> Read the instructions. Read the instructions. Because <laughs> they probably wrote them. And if you need their info, you can always get in touch well, with guys, us. Well, guys, thanks for coming up. Thank you. Right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you still got your car. Do you need a bar, an extension cord to plug up? Or <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh, good. And you drive an SUV. That's right. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, hang in there with us. Well, guys, if there's any openings, call me. I mean, I can't take a drop in pay. I make a... Uh, you know, to go do something like that. But, uh, it's 5.30 at night. You can go out oh, at night. Yeah.
A little moonlighting. <laughs> All right, thanks again, guys, and congratulations on getting married. Thank you. Yeah. Remember that uh, marriage. Uh, you've been married a while, I guess. Uh, uh, a couple of years. A couple years. Okay, newly wed. All right, we'll take a break. <laughs> Mayor Marks is in here with uh, a little Mayor Marks. So we'll talk with both of them in just a moment. Y'all, hang on.